Alright guys, thanks for checking in Stormtopia.com and Stormtopia.com Facebook page from Daily Weather Update right now. Taking a look at current national radar imagery, you can see a stripe of blue extending from the upper Ohio Valley straight through Pennsylvania. And the blue is snow, and it's heavy snow at this time, creating a disruptive impact again. And I say again because the radar imagery looked very similar around 24 hours ago because we had a, a, a different storm looking very much like this one except a little bit further north this time around its impacts are going to be very similar although felt over a different area and different implications for that area also um, we're going to just going to be talking about what's going to go on in that area in this video so let's switch over to the radar imagery out of the ohio valley what you're seeing at this time is blue from northern o from northern indiana straight from pennsylvania that is snow it's heavy snow but what's that pink that pink is that mixed precipitation sleet primarily also some rain and snow mixed in now that is the most difficult to drive on because those little sleet ice pellets get in between your tire grooves and act as ball bearings out on the roadways so you get into snow difficult to drive in. You get into that sleet mixture, that is the most difficult to drive in. And as the storm pushes east and a bit southeast, you're going to start off as rain Baltimore, Washington, then you're going to go over to that nasty sleety mixture, and then eventually go over to some snow with accumulations of two to five inches. But we look at the Baltimore, Washington radar right now, you're seeing that pink, you're seeing that nasty driving conditions, and then you're seeing the green. The green is rain, and right now it looks like it's going to start as rain in several hours, northern Virginia south central pennsylvania a lot of maryland and then as time goes on as the precipitation continues your temperatures will fall and because of that your te your uh, precipitation will change to a cooler precipitation now admittedly some folks will stay rain some folks will stay mixed and some folks are already snow and that if you're start of snow you're going to be snow for the entire event so basically you're going to probably go for multiple precipitation types and then eventually you'll change all the way over to snow. So let's take a look at current temperatures in the area right now. You're in the mid to upper 30s for a lot of spots. Meanwhile, 40 south of Washington, D.C., they're not going to get much accumulation. But to the north and the west, where you're already snowing heavily, you're getting a burst of snow south central PA. That's where you're looking at 6 to 12 inches. We're going to get to the accumulations in just a bit. But again, these temperatures are in the 40s and 50s for some, f 30s for others. So these are going to have to cool down significantly. Which is why, again, you're going to start as rain, go over to sleet and mix, and then go over to snow. I can't stress enough the different types of precipitation that we're going to be seeing with this event. Okay, and the worst part is that you're not going to get the snow before the sleet to suffice on the roadways. You're going to get the rain and then the sleet, which is really not going to be great. Now, let's take a look at the model here. This is the NAM here you see this evening. The sales making its way through Pennsylvania into Baltimore, Washington, and then it's out of here by tomorrow morning. Okay, so this is going to be a very quick hitting event. Um, you know, by 7, 8 a.m., the road should be cleared, and this is what we're going to be talking about, accumulations. 2 to 5, Baltimore, Washington. 6 to 12, the northern metro portion of Baltimore. 6 to 12, south central PA, northern Virginia, northern west Virginia. 2 to 5 inches to the north of that, according to 2 inches in central New Jersey. Then, according to 2 inches south, well south of Washington, D.C., not because you're seeing light snow, but because you are seeing that sleet and that rain mixed in. And, you know, those pink areas, those actually might be end up end up being the most difficult areas to drive in interestingly enough now I do think that as you make your way through uh, the uh, Appalachians there is an isolated spot that could p that could pick up to 15 inches of snowfall accumulation and the summits could pick up even up to 18 inches so great for ski country in West Virginia who hasn't had a great year so far stay tuned for more updates on this event stormtopia